Best of five sets. The first two, 25. And if we go all the way, it is 15. And you have three touches on either side of the net before the ball must be returned to the opposition. And Ukraine already opening up a two-point lead here. Japan already employing their libero. You'll see that, the player wearing number two in the red shirt, Awano. And she will be used as a key defensive player at certain times in the game as Japan find themselves on the board. of sets of Ukraine and then Japan unable to respond to the spike so Ukraine open up a 3-1 lead early on the reigning European champions and they've enjoyed two comfortable wins so far 3-0 against the host nation Great Britain and then 3-1 against Holland who currently lead the group but Ukraine would overcome them and that's smart play just to lift the ball over the player by the net there to get Japan back to within a point. Ogata with the set. And then it was Nishii just to lift the ball over. Has to go over now. And Japan quickly level the scores. Awano there, the libero player. And when they need a defensive shield at the back of the court, she will be there. And that service goes all the way through, so a point against the head there for the Ukrainians. Udina with the serve. Ogata can't respond, and Ukraine have a two-point lead again. And this time the serve doesn't make it over the net, so Japan respond. Ogata. It's widely seen as their enforcer will take the serve. So Klotskova was there for the Ukrainians. Having the reach to just put her fingers above the net and give the Japanese no time to respond there. And the Ukrainians used up their three touches close to the net, so Japan are quickly back in the game. And the court here, 10 metres by 6 metres. And at all times, a player's pelvis must not leave the floor. Each side is allowed one player of minimal impairment. And you have six players on court at any time. And there's this game moving very, very quickly here. And the Ukraine have not been able to move more than a point clear of the Japanese so far. These sides currently second and third in the group. And two teams will go through to the medal rounds. And if Ukraine win this game, they will finish top of the group and they will go through with Holland. And Japan and Great Britain will be eliminated. And a timeout is called. That was a nice set there. And a spike in the end from Ponomarenko. Fantastic Japanese support here inside. South Arena 2 at the XL Centre. And that 
that's one way of keeping cool. So the Ukraine over halfway to winning this first set. Kova now with the serve for Ukraine. And it's the libero, Awano there again. And the spike doesn't hit the intended target. The Ukraine had the time to set that up, but Klotchkova in the end. Not landing it in the red area of the floor. And that's just about bundled over the net there. And Japan get the point. Too many touches from Ukraine. And Japan take the lead for the first time. Awano the libero. Working very hard so far. Just giving the team more presence at the back of the court. But Ukraine are quickly level again. It's a very high set. Ukraine will set up for the spike, and despite the deflection from Osada, Ukraine retake the lead. Japan so far in their competition lost to Holland in the opening game, which ultimately could cost them a place in the last four. But they did have a clean sweep, 3-0 against Great Britain, as did the Dutch and the Ukrainians. That was an excellent recovery from the Ukrainians initially. But Ogdenskaya, wide of the mark with the final spike. Has to go over now. Asada almost lifts that one over the net. And Ukraine there always seemed to have the edge in that rally. The Japanese at full stretch. making a nuisance of herself there was Udina right in front of the net. Potenska now with the serve and that's delicately done again to bring the Japanese back level. Kaneki. Good play. Brick given the opportunity there. And plenty of space in midcourt to land the spike. Has to go over now. The Japanese say there was no touch. Ukraine have a two-point lead. Masada allows that serve to go all the way through. And Ogata there is one of the minimally impaired players in the team. Unable to take part in able-bodied volleyball, but providing her pelvis stays on the floor, She's able to play here as Ukraine moved to within a point of taking this opening set.
but not now. And those Japanese supporters in the background still have hope here. It goes all the way through. And Ukraine. 15 13 clear now. And Shakina there. As you can see, one of the minimally impaired players in the Ukrainian team. First of 25 points to win the set. And the Ukraine now have their largest lead of the game so far. Timeout is called. Agata there. Unable to get there before the ball. Just kissed the court. of their greater success in one of the key areas of the game. Another fantastic crowd here inside the XL Arena. And those selling thunder sticks have done a brisk business. Both teams claiming the point, it goes the way of Japan. And the spike deflected away. As Sinchuk comes out of the game for Ukraine. The serve from Okahira. And Ukraine have not been able to put Japan away in this first set yet. And now we're level again. a short-lived parity for the Japanese. <laughs> the libero back in the game for the Japanese. And it worked. Ogata Involved again. Koneki now with the serve. And that was clever play from Ponomarenko. A powerful spike is not required all the time. Just a flick of the fingernails there. Ponomarenko now at the back of the court. Kept alive superbly there. And Japan come up with the point. Credit to the libero. Awano. That ball seemed destined just to clip the inside of the court and go away for another Ukrainian point.
and Japan in the lead. Asada there. Ukraine back level with a point against the serve. So Japan call a timeout. So the fans are out again. And the Ukrainians know they're in a game here, the European champions. Osada, who provided the first successful dig for Japan in the game earlier on, unable to prevent the serve there from Obtenska. Tenska now will get the game underway again with Ukraine five points away from the opening set. Asada and the spike from the captain, Nishii. One of the oldest players in the team at the age of 45. Has to go over now, and under pressure, all Akahara can do is play that ball wide to give the Ukraine the lead again. Could that Soba now returning to the game for Ukraine? Opportunity for the spike. Kept alive there, but it was only a partial reprieve. Klotchkova with the second spike for Ukraine. A real jumble of arms and legs on the Japanese side of the court there. And this time, Awano can only find the net. And Ukraine are two points away. As a timeout is called. And Japan just allowing the Ukraine to run away with things at the end of the quarter, at the end of the, the set, I should say. Ukraine prepared for the Paralympics with a second place finish in the Intercontinental Cup in Egypt. And they beat Russia, Slovenia, Brazil and Great Britain in that competition. And Japan have already bettered their performance in Beijing four years ago by winning a match. They finish eighth in Beijing with five defeats out of five. Comprehensive spike there from the captain, Kachina. And some of these Ukrainian players do have the greater reach at times. Ukraine have taken the opening set. An 
And in the end, five points without reply right at the end of that set. And they are on the way to the medal rounds. And Japan are on the way to the minor places. causing problems for Japan in the latter part of that and Ogata beaten by the dig of Kachina Anotenska one of the veterans in the team at the age of 45 just having a few words with her teammates and Ukraine used the dig very well in that first set. Far more proficient than the Japanese. Just that greater power around the net area. I'm sure many people here inside the Excel Arena are getting their first experience of sitting volleyball. It can be fast and furious at times, particularly when you have two well-matched teams, as we do here. No, they can't take the victory for granted yet. This is the final match in the group, in Group B. On the other side of the competition, the USA play Brazil. That's later on today. And the winner of that game will join China, the reigning champions in the last four. And they will play either Holland and the winners of this game. And Japan, no. Vitally important they don't fall two sets behind here. And they've used the libero far more in the first set than Ukraine did. But they take the opening point here. It's a two-goal lead early on. And at the moment, the Ukrainians not finding their range. Artenska there with the spike. Overhit again. Kept alive superbly, and Osada makes it four. And the Ukraine have just not got going in the second set so far.
Japan with the dig. Now they have to try and stretch, but it was a garter. And I think the dig from Atenska in the end for the Ukrainians. And very quickly, the lead has been halved. And Japan convinced that one went wide. And things changing very quickly here at the start of the second set. Has to go now, and that took a touch off Udina. Dig there, just taking the pace out of it for Japan. And it's delicately done in the end from Chakina. And she's trying to get her team going here. And a 4-0 lead for Japan has now been turned around. Ukraine looking to take the lead on their serve. And the spike, successful from Klotchkova. And the Ukrainians took their time there. But they got away with it. And they've scored seven of the last eight points in the set. And it's now eight of the last nine. That spike there in the end from Nashihi. Just overhit. And a timeout is called to try and maybe calm things down for Japan. Who ran away with the start of this set. But Ukraine showing why they are the European champions. have had far more spikes so far just giving an indication of their greater reach at times around the net Udina back in the game for Ukraine and Ogata there Unable to match Chakina around the net. And Japan managed to stop the rot. And 
it's double figures for Ukraine great to see the Japanese outlook really always optimistic but at the moment they could be sliding towards a two-set deficit here but that's fine play And the Sheehy, the captain, a key figure yet again. And the spike will come here surely. Ponomarenko, too powerful for Asada. And that's fine play again from Ukraine, a five-point lead. And they'll be keen to win this group, Ukraine, and avoid China. In the last four, although having said that, they may have to face USA. who were the silver medalists in Beijing four years ago. And the Chinese up against it at the moment. As things stand, they will finish third in Pool A. Ukrainian support outnumbered here inside the Axel Arena. But their team are heading towards a two set lead here. Two, Strong play around the net again. For Matenska. And now Pomarenko as well, and they're really dominating the net area at the moment. Point lead now, and Japan's 4 0 lead at the start of this set now seems a long time ago. Smile on the face of the Japanese coach, but he knows his team here are just struggling with the, the greater reach and power of the Ukrainians. Marenko there and Klotskova. They've been such dominant figures looking into the eyes of the Japanese players. <laughs> I think she's realized she's on the big screen. Emi Kaneki. It'll take a big effort now from China to turn this second set around. And realistically, once the Ukrainians get the bit between their teeth, that may be it. Ten point lead now.
moment, Japan's target in the second set, maybe, to merely make double figures. Osada coming out of the game. Kochkova forcing the Japanese very, very deep. And the Japanese call yet another time out, but they're unable to stem the flow of Ukrainian points here. coach looking very very satisfied Viktor Tomashenko only a case of keep it going for them using the net there and that's okay <laughs> 20 points up for Ukraine <laughs> so we already know that China are in the semi-finals <laughs> they beat Slovenia 3-0 today Olympic champions looking to take gold again and they may have to face one of these sides in the semi-finals and at the moment it looks like Ukraine Ponomarenko so dominant around the net again and nothing happening for the Japanese now and May still be smiles on the faces, but some of the shoulders are beginning to slump. And there's a rare point for the Japanese. Okara now. Ponomarenko. And again, a high set and the spike from Udina. And the attempted dig from Kaneki in vain. Again from Udina. Ukraine within a point of a two set lead. Set point. Japan doing their best to keep it alive. But Ukraine were too strong following that early Japanese flurry at the start of the second set. Japan scored the opening four points, but Ukraine responded with 25 of the next 30, and they lead by two sets to love.
game appears to be getting easier for Ukraine and that was borne out by what we saw for much of that second set. Tomashenko knows his team are on the verge of the semi-finals here. And they may also avoid the Chinese. And they made the Japanese work very hard there. 14 blocks, the Ukrainians only having to deal with four, of which three were successful. And it's a global game. Members of the Latvian delegation enjoying themselves and also fans from closer to home here at the Axel Arena. been a real feature of these Paralympic Games well, the vast vast majority of spectators have really got themselves involved and engaged with sports which they maybe do nothing about before they arrived but they quickly get behind both teams it's been a great spirit and it's clearly lifted the quality of the competition here on the verge of the semi-finals looking to finish things off very quickly here all or nothing for Japan now Take the first point at least. Chokina rather getting underneath the ball there. Brick. Awano the libero back in the game for the Japanese. Shakina with the spike. So the Ukraine take the lead which has quickly extended. Koneki unable to deal with the serve. Ponomarenko. Brick. Exasperation there on the face of Koneki as the ball spins away off her palms. This tells you how the game has been going. And the game quickly running away from the Japanese here. We had a real contest in the opening set, but since then, it's all Ukraine. 
time. There is very little that Japan can do about it. Timeout is called. Ukraine taking six of the opening seven points in the set. And if this game isn't won now in straight sets, it would be a massive surprise. judging by their body language and their facial expressions are keen to finish this game off very very quickly <laughs> Ponomarenko <laughs> Udina there with some great defensive work digging in at the net and Japan had no response. And there's a rare uh, uh, error on the serve from the Ukrainians to give Japan only a merest glimmer of hope. Shakina unable to deal with the serve again. And the Japanese have just started to take a bit of pace off the serve and try and make the Ukrainians work a bit more by giving them the less pace to put into their shots. Set up and a spike from Brick. Timeout call, and Japan not really able to stem the flow of Ukrainian points. Rudina there, always putting the Japanese under pressure. And the second set finished well by Brick. Seven spikes and two digs, showing how much hard work she's been doing around the net. And it's great the Japanese seem determined to enjoy themselves here, and I'm sure they are, but Their medal hopes are evaporating very quickly here. The European champions not embarrassed by that status here. Ukraine to serve. 17 points away. Japan continuing to work hard. And they'll be desperate to at least get one set on the board here. They have a long way to go. Udina there with some lovely vision. Japan sucked towards the net. And Kaneki unable to readjust in time. Point there, won by Okahira. Too strong for Brick at the neck on this occasion. Yeah. 
Recycled well by the Ukrainians, but it's the Japanese who get the point again. Use of the feet there from the Ukrainians to try and keep the ball alive, but 9-6. Japanese have a good position here, but that's a great touch again from Valentina Brick. Delicate lob. She could see the libero had gone across Awano to the other side of the court. And the lead is not as comfortable as it was, but Ukraine know they're on the way here. But that's why from Ponomarenko. Three-point deficit for the Japanese. And he, she, the captain with the serve. But she can't recover. And Japan here. It seems trying to move closer to the net as a group to deal with the pressure that Ukraine have been placing on them. And as a result, there was a huge gap behind them there, which the server, Nehishi, couldn't make up. Sinchuk now. 47 year old. And her serve leads to an overhit spike. Good work at the net from the Japanese. Daneki taking the congratulations. And that's the cue for Kuchina, the captain, to come back into the game. It's a vastly experienced Ukrainian side. Many of these players in their 40s. Otenska. And Canada at the net, unable to deal with that particular spike. Similar story again, this time it was Udina. Ukraine with their seven point lead, edging closer to a straight sets victory. Timeout call. a match between the world number four and the world number eight and it's been justified that ranking in the scoreline so far
Good spike, good recovery. And the final decisive touch from Ponomarenko. There's the set. And Konecki's eventual spike blocked wide by Udina. to give away points on their service and they win one there yeah. Oliveiro doing her defensive work well but not the second time No room to get that ball back over the net from there. Such was the angle of the spike. But Japan do pull one back. changes made by the Japanese with Ukraine seven points away here Rick's wide have to do plenty of work at the back of the court here and they can't do so always up against it there and Ukraine rack up 20 points already five away now Dina and Brick is there with the dig. And the Japanese call a timeout. Difficult to see where they can find a way back into this game now. has found it so difficult to deal with the Ukrainian power and the odds subtlety at times and Ukraine look good to maybe eventually finish on the podium they've got a real clinical look about them when it comes to play around the net three points now and Japan get the point there Ukraine were already celebrating but it was Nishihi. One defiant swipe from them. Brick with a spike. And the Ukraine will get the service back.
Malakanova coming into the game now. She's only 17 and she will try and see this game out. Not on this occasion. Oh, lovely play again from Ponomarenko. And then Brick, and it's match point. Just finding the gap between the lines in midcourt. First match point. Japan have got to get it over now, and they do! Koneki with one final defiant swipe, maybe. But the Ukraine have match points to burn here. And that's it. Ukraine booked their place in the semi finals. And they will finish top of Pool A and will avoid China. Holland will play China and Ukraine will play either the USA or Brazil, who meet later on today. And after a tight first set, the Ukraine just ran away with things in the end. The better side. And the Japanese appear to thoroughly enjoy it throughout. But the greatest strength of the Ukrainians in both serving and their play around the net, taking them to a comfortable victory in the end. can celebrate their place in the semi-finals confirmation they finish above the Netherlands they will have to meet Japan Ukraine will play either the USA or Brazil the winner of that match later on today and it's great that a team who know they are unable to win a medal here can still indicate that They've enjoyed the experience so much, which, when all is said and done, is what the Olympics and the Paralympics should be all about. Ukraine's day, the winners of Pool A into the semi-finals, beating Japan in straight sets.